Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. This one is a pretty serious one. Some are kind of fun, but this isn't really fun at all because we're talking about theft, about people stealing horses. And it happens a lot. And uh, since the U.S. government has decided that they uh, will allow uh, processing plants to open in the United States to kill horses for table meat in Europe, the price of horses may go up or may not. Well, I mean, if they open up the processing plants, it will. But if that was to occur, the price of a horse dead at a processing plant would double overnight, which means that if you go on a, on a newspaper or on the Internet, and you're looking at an average trail horse that is maybe only uh, three to four hundred dollars. If they open up killer plants, they're going to go to eight hundred to a thousand dollars. People steal horses right now. They're going to steal them a lot more if that would occur. And this is what we're going to talk about, theft of your horse. Now, it seems at the beginning that I'm standing next to a wall on the inside of the alleyway of this barn, and we have a long row of halters and lead ropes. Every halter, every lead rope is different. Every, every halter fits a very specific horse. They have their own tap, which is very important. We'll talk about that in other videos when you talk about horse psychology. But we're talking about horse theft. So we have all these halters lined up nice and neat. Not only do we have them nice and neat, but we have a photograph of each individual horse wearing this matching halter and lead rope. And also we have the horse's name in these photographs. Now, that's really nice and convenient if you're working here and you're in a hurry or there's an emergency or you have friends helping you do chores or if you're a boarding stables and you have an employee working for you, it seems very efficient. It seems very logical to do that and organize. But let's flip that and let's talk about horse theft. How easy is it for someone to come in here in the middle of the night with a uh, light on their head or a flashlight and they see all these halters lined up right by the alleyway, the door where the horses are. Everybody's photographed so they know the horse's name and the corresponding halter because I'll tell you what they do. There's stupid people and there's smart people and there's stupid criminals and there are smart criminals. Now, a smart horse thief will not only grab a halter and a lead rope, he'll see which horse it goes to in the photograph, he'll know the horse's name, and what he'll do is he will peel that photograph off the wall and take it, and I'll tell you why. Think about this. If you're a police officer and you don't own horses and you don't really know a lot about livestock theft, which pretty much encompasses 99.9% .9 of all police, sheriffs, state troopers, highway patrol, U.S. Marshals, FBI, CIA, DEA, Border Patrol, and the whole face of this country, if you were to question ownership of a horse and someone says, look, this is my horse, this is my horse's name, and horses do respond to their names a lot of the time. And look, I even have a photograph of my horse. Would you not think that that was the owner of the horse? And also, would you not think, if you're a horse thief, how convenient it is to pick out which horse, the horse's name, and lead rope you want? Think about this when it comes to safety, because think about it. If it takes you three to four minutes, maybe even five minutes longer to snag a halter and a lead rope or tell somebody where it is to put it on a horse, is that really not time well spent when all of a sudden a horse is gone, it's stolen? Because most people don't find their horses. It's not a good mathematical probability that you will. Please think about this. Folks, this has been a stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves and... Think about your horses.